Hey, my name is Whitney Thompson and this is My Curvy Kitchen and today I'm coming to you from New York City with one of my best friends in the whole entire world, Jim Schmiedel. And today we are making a peanut butter cake with chocolate frosting. Jim's idea. Yes. He's yeah. pretty bright. We're going to start with our wet ingredients. Um, and that'll be a half a stick of butter and two eggs we'll get in our mixing bowl. You want to open the butter? Totally. Or unwrap? How do you crack an egg without getting the shell in there? Very carefully. I think it's good to crack the eggs first because then if God forbid a shell does go in, you can just get it out. And now we're going to add three-fourths a cup of sugar. Not enough if you ask me. Never <laughs> enough. <laughs> And we're going to add a half a container of peanut butter. So now we're going to add a half a container of uh, creamy peanut butter. If you want to use crunchy, that's okay too. I just feel like it would be weird in a cake. Chunky peanut butter in a cake. I don't know. Can't go wrong with peanut butter. No. Peanut butter is really good. I know. And today we're using Peanut Butter & Co. Peanut Butter, which is a little restaurant in New York City. That makes amazing, amazing peanut butter. I've talked about them before. They have like a million flavors. A million. And they're all delicious. Delicious. Yeah. This one is Smooth Operator. Smooth Operator. Little Sade. And a white smooth. people dance. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. Way to long sexify that song. That's true. Okay, so we've added our half a container of peanut butter to our wet ingredients, and we're just going to go ahead and turn on my lovely pink mixer. I love that you take peanut butter, <laughs> and you add things that are good on their own, and it's even more tasty peanut butter. <laughs> Did you, we just add butter and Jim doesn't sugar? cook a lot. <laughs> and now we're going to add three-fourths a cup of milk. And now that our wet ingredients are all mixed together, we're going to start adding our dry ingredients. So we're going to add a cup and a half of flour, just a little bit at a time, and also two teaspoons of baking powder. And we'll add just a dash of salt. Whenever Whitney comes to town, I'm like, please cook. You're so great. Yeah. Let's taste our batter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just use my finger, oh, we're doing fingers. <laughs> I was gonna bring out a ridiculously large spoon, so it's good. We'll do fingers. It looks like frosting. It tastes like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna bake this. Nope. <laughs> this is it. Uh, get a spoon. <laughs> hide your kids. Hide your wife. Eat it yourself. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> And you're just going to <laughs> pour that right into your beautiful pan. So we've got our batter in the pan and we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Here we go. While our cake is baking in the oven, we are going to go ahead and start the frosting. And we're just doing a really simple chocolate frosting. And we will start with one stick of butter. We're just going to cream that butter, and once we get this going, we're going to slowly add um, two cups of confectioner's sugar, or powdered sugar, and then six teaspoons of cocoa powder to make butter perfume. If I ever have perfume, it'll be butter scented. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so our butter is creamed, and we're going to go ahead and start adding two cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to add six teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. I can't believe we've never like baked together. No. And I, I have never seen anyone ever make icing. Really? Nope, this is my first time. <gasps> what? Yep. Icing is so easy to make. Like so simple, you don't even realize. Like this is it, bam. Easier than going to the grocery store. And it tastes, here let's taste it and see if we need any. Just to be more polite, anything. I mean, I'm going to be nice about this. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's so much better than store-bought. It's store so much better. Store-bought, you can literally Ugh. taste the chemicals. Like, you don't know. Like, I was raised eating store-bought icing, and I thought it was fine. And then I started making my own, and was like, no, it is not fine. Like, mind blown <laughs> right here <laughs> yeah 
pretty good. So we just pulled our cake out of the oven and it honestly looks like a giant peanut butter cookie. I'm really excited. It looks amazing and it smells even better. Better than it did when it went in, which is exciting. Totally. But we're just going to set it to the side and let it cool and then we'll come back to it in maybe, what, 40 minutes and put our frosting on. Yay! Our cake is fully cooled and we have our beautiful frosting. Which so tastes amazing. It seriously is life changing. <laughs> um, and if you want to do a several layer cake, you totally can, but we're just going simple today and we did one, like I said, it bakes up like a big old peanut butter cookie. So you can't really go wrong. It's not the prettiest frosting job, but, but we're kind of hungry. Yeah, we sort of want to just try it. Let's cut a piece and have a little. Well, bite. <laughs> We're obviously really casual friends. <laughs> mm. Who needs silverware? You're not gonna like it. Don't have any. <laughs> well, even for me. This is beautiful. Mm. Look at this. Just the layer of chocolate frosting cookie. Oh. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Sorry, I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. <laughs> so rude. But I'm not going to stop talking, <laughs> but I'm not going to stop eating. <laughs> so once again, my name is Whitney Thompson. This is my Curvy Kitchen. This is my best friend, Jim Schmiedel. And thank you so much for joining us in our quest to make a peanut butter cake with chocolate frosting today. Bye! Bye. <laughs>